I'm excited to show you seven unbelievable mind-blowing AI tools for architecture that can help with problem solving, concept generation, and productivity. This is a new tool called Veras, which is an AI-powered rendering plugin developed by Evolve Lab. It supports Revit and Rhino version 7. This is the model I'm working with. It's a sample project in Revit. And you can see it has pretty good basic materials, trees, and some context. I'm gonna jump into this view and sign into Evolve Lab. In a trial, you only get 30 images, and there are some parameters that I can't edit, such as the width of the image and the number of the images generated. But now I'm gonna use prompts and also going to turn on turbo nature because that actually creates more vegetation in the scene which is pretty awesome and let's see what atmospheric does and let's hit render processing you can see how it took the geometry and created this render which i think is really cool so let's try a different prompt the key here is to be really specific the coolest part about it is that it is built on top of Revit, so it is utilizing your existing geometry and your metadata within your project to develop these images. It can also generate interior images or aerial. You can see that it can create some pretty cool stuff with this tool, which is perfect for concept design, preliminary images, or just inspiration. I was actually so mind blown when I discovered this tool. So Writer is an AI powered writing assistant that helps content writers create high quality content quickly and efficiently. On the side here, you can see the many different uses from writing blog posts, emails, job description, and more. I'm personally gonna use this to generate video ideas and also kind of help me with writing my script. Going to start a new document. Let's select a use. I think in something like a magic command where you can command writer to write anything for you. So let's say maybe write a short summary of a movie, um, maybe the Hulk. I don't even know why I'm saying the Hulk. I haven't seen that movie in so long. And there you go. You can read it. It makes sense. It's not plagiarized or anything. It's all original, which is kind of cool. And then let's select a different use, which is video ideas, which is mainly what I'm going to use this tool for. So going to write architecture and maybe AI to see what comes up. And I guess that these three topics are the topics mainly that people are searching for when it comes to these keywords. And you can even select one of these sentences and then there's more features. The one I'm kind of blown away by is paragraph. So if I click on that one, you can see it automatically writes like a short description of it, which is so helpful when you just want a starting point or a bit of information before you deep dive into your research. I'm on the saver plan because I truly think this is so worth it. This is not sponsored or anything. I paid with this with my own money. And specifically with this tool, don't just copy and paste, really add your own voice to it. This one is quite fascinating if you have a client that has a product like a sketchbook, for example, or maybe you need certain assets in your scene. This iPhone app simply lets you take a series of images and then AI will transform them into a 3D object. You can see here the stuff that was created. So I think this is really an interesting tool, but unfortunately it's only available to iPhone. So I don't have access to this. But it looks really promising and I will definitely want to play with this when I can. I had to include Dolly, which is a text to image based visualization tool, but this one is online. I'll have a link to all of these websites and tools in the description so you can access them from there. All you have to do is sign up and then right away you're able to enter the prompts to get started. So let's see what it gives us. Processing. And people say that it takes seconds to generate images, but it's more like a minute which is really fast, but keep that in mind. Okay, I'm not mad at this. They are a little cartoonish, but I do think the third one is interesting. Let's try another one, a little more architectural. Processing. I don't know what to say, really. I know AI can be unpredictable, but these 
These are just so unsuccessful in my opinion. Let's, let's try something else. Okay, I see where it was going, but I feel like it didn't capture Norman Foster very well. Norman Foster's architecture is just so much more interesting. Let's try uploading an image as a reference. I'm gonna pick this render, crop, and generate variations. Now that's pretty awesome. I actually think this is really great and I would totally see myself using this in my workflow if I just wanted to generate some ideas. Apparently another trick that Doll E can do is edit images. So let's go back to the Norman Foster houses and add a generation frame. I'm imagining like a really cool underwater city or something like Atlantis. This one is close, but there's just no detail and it didn't even match the waters right. Unfortunately, I've run out of credits until the next month to test it out further. So every month they give you 15 credits, but you can purchase 115 credit for $15, which I think is a good price considering you get 4 images with each credit. I don't understand what I did wrong here, honestly. I feel like maybe it's the prompts I'm using, but I would definitely use the variation feature of Dolly. Another popular one, compared to many other AI applications like ChatGBT, getting access to Midjourney is a lot simpler. You don't even need to register if you already have a Discord account. So first you're gonna visit one of the rooms listed under the newbie section headings. Feel free to use any one of these rooms because there isn't much difference between them anyway. To get Midjourney to generate an image, you'll want to run a Discord command. All you have to do is type this symbol and then write imagine and then a text description of whatever it is you'd like Midjourney to generate. So I'm gonna use the same prompts for Doll E for direct comparison. And then a magical genie will appear granting you three wishes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The Midjourney bot takes a little bit of time in order to give you your result and then it will generate four different images based on your prompt. This is really impressive. It's far better than Doll E in my opinion, but I did add highly detail to the prompt so I wonder if that made a difference. Let's try another prompt. While you're waiting for your images, which again I think took about two minutes or three, you can browse what other people are creating. But I do dislike the fact that you have to scroll up and down to find your images. And sometimes I just lose my prompts, but it's a really minor thing. Wow, I really like that. Even the composition of the images are great. Also, you can direct the AI in the direction that you want by using the buttons underneath your created images. So you can upscale the images using the buttons with the letter U. For example, U1 will upscale the first image. U2 will upscale the second and so on. And also there's buttons labeled V and these buttons create variations of the selected image. So as with all AI, the key to getting good results is learning how to write the most effective prompt, which is definitely something I need to work on. So for this, Lexica is such a good website. It's basically a search engine for images that were already created using AI. And finally, you can explore more images of this style. The last three are so interesting. This one is called Chroma and it has to do with color. It's totally free. And when you log in, the website will ask you to choose from a number of colors that you find appealing. And then it will create a model of the colors and color combinations you prefer to use. And then it will provide color schemes and color palettes that you may use to kick off your design. With this AI tool, you're gonna generate color palettes that you know you're gonna love. The last one, but certainly not the least, this website allows you to upscale low resolution images without losing the resolution. You can upscale in Photoshop, but sometimes you end up losing detail and the image goes a bit blurry. So this website is a great one called Image Larger. That's a pretty simple website that also has its own software and allows you to process images online. 
all you have to do is click this button to find the low resolution photo and we're gonna go four times the resolution increase and click on start now while it's processing i gotta tell you that it does have an upload limit of pixels and also the file size it does have some premium features but i am on a free plan which is eight images per month wow it's pretty darn good um let's place it on top of the low resolution image to compare the results let's look at the differences before and after yeah i can definitely see a massive difference using this ai tool a lot of the noise was reduced and you can see that it just sharpened the whole image and added detail take a look at this guy for example the edges are really blurry but after it's so smooth and crisp so this was seven mind-blowing ai tools for architecture i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful let me know in the comments down below whether you think architects and designers should use ai and if there are any ethical implications that comes with that. I'm Rasha Shururu and I will see you next time.